So the following tutorial is going to show how to create an investigation. Uh, the first step is to start up the ISA Creator software, which has been uh, downloaded from the ToxBank website. Um, there are three options, and generally the middle ISA Creator option gives the most flexibility, so I'll, create, I'll use the ISA Creator option. Uh, and then once um, I've logged in, um, we want to select the ToxBank configuration because that will link uh, the ISA Creator to the ToxBank data warehouse. So the first step is to manually creating an investigation is to select the first option, create new experiment description and we'll create it manually. So an investigation is a, uh, a collection of studies. It's generally the, the, the entire experiment that's being performed. Um, so there needs to be at least one study in the investigation. So we'll just go ahead and add a single study and we just give it a name. So you can see here we've, it's created an investigation and under that investigation one study has been created. So for this tutorial we're just going to look at creating the investigation information. So the first step is to um, provide an, some sort of identifier that you use internally and then give it the title of the investigation. So this one um, We'll just use the, the TG Gates example um, as, um, as an example. Um, I do have in here a abstract which I'm just going to copy um, rather than type in directly. So you would just either type in or paste in an abstract for the investigation. Um, then there's a number of things which are important to fill in. These four, owning organization, consortia, some URI, owner and investigation keyword and I'll just review these quickly. So owning organization, who, who owns the who owns this investigation? So the first thing is you then click on the search uh, button and in this case if we say uh, Douglas Connect own this investigation, I'm just going to search for Douglas Connect in the Toxbank warehouse uh, and it's found the organization uh, G1 and here you can verify that it's Douglas Connect and you click OK. The next is which consortium does this uh, investigation belong within? So if, uh, again I do a search uh, and I search for Toxbank. Again click on search. It's going to search the Toxbank warehouse to find um, the particular consortium here G17. We can verify that's Toxbank. Uh, who owns it, which organization owns, uh, I mean which individual owns it. So for example if Barry Hardy was to own this um, investigation, so he's responsible for answering questions about the investigation, giving people access to an investigation. We identify Barry Hardy U19 and click OK. The next step is then to fill in a number of keywords. Um, so there is a predefined keyword hierarchy which you'll be able to access and, and, and look through. And generally this keyword hierarchy is organized by, I'm just going to go to the top here, uh, biomaterials, so different cells, uh, reagents that were used in the experiment, um, organized by um, cell lines, reagents, growth factors. The next is the type of data that's created or readout, so for things like high throughput screening assays, biomarkers. Um, the next section is chemicals that were tested, so here is a listing of the gold standard compounds that were used throughout the, the, the SURAT project. Uh, the next section is investigation techniques, uh, such as different cell biology techniques or informatics techniques and then finally um, the keywords talk about adverse outcome pathways or mode of actions. 
So generally in investigation you may have uh, keywords from each of those, uh, those elements. Uh, so for example, if we wanted to add, for example, doxyrubicin, um, you can, I'm just going to copy doxyrubicin here and do a search for the keyword. And here you can see it's one of the gold standard chemicals, so we add it and it's added uh, and you can see this, this, uh, this code here, K348, this is doxyrubicin. Uh, and again, if you wanted to search for other keywords, you just do a search, identify the, the keyword that you want to add and here you can see it's added this to the list. If you have a publication, so for example, as a title, authors, um, PubMed ID or DOI, uh, you can add it here. And then finally, what's important is to add the, the individuals that are authors of this investigation. So you would add the first name, the last name, and if there's a, a, a reference, but what's most important is the URI, which links it to the Toxbank warehouse. So if we were to search on Myatt in the warehouse, um, we find here is um, a Myatt lead scope, and uh, that's then connected at this uh, investigation uh, author to the warehouse. And again, you can add any number and you can add add columns if necessary. So that's, to summarize, that shows how we can create a high-level description of an investigation. Um, the next step is then to create a uh, one or more studies, um, and we'll show that in the next tutorial.